I would say that the, the biggest advantage to that rock field is playability. And it plays more like an actual grass field. On the, on the rubber fields, you tend to see that the ball sticks a little bit more, or when it's very wet, the ball is just going to skip away from players. Whereas on the Brock field, it doesn't do that. On the Brock field, it holds up more like traditional grass. Now, it still does play faster than traditional grass, but everybody expects that on a turf field. So that's nothing that should be foreign to any coach or any player. I haven't had a single kid take an angle or a knee injury this year. To me, that's huge. That means my kids get to stay on the pitch. They get to stay out there at every practice because we practiced on that pitch. We played on that pitch and it doesn't deviate. It's gonna play the same whether it's wet, whether it's dry. I've seen zero wear over the course of a year. There's been almost no wear and tear at all on the field. Now, the last thing that I would say is the abrasion. You know, on a rubber field, your kids, your kids tend to get a lot of strawberries, get to really tear up their hips and their, their thighs when they have good hard slide tackles. I don't see that as much on the Brock field. Um, I don't know if, what the technology is, I don't know the <laughs> science behind it, but I do know that my kids don't come back complaining about how bad it hurts. And to me, that's a plus because that means that my kid's not injured and he gets to continue playing throughout the match or doesn't have to go to a trainer for 10 minutes in the middle of the match to go get taped up. For me, it's just a better field to play on a day-to-day -day basis. So I hope that answers all your questions. And Absolutely. I would strongly encourage you to, to look into it because I think it's a great problem.